All right, this is the um, bump test procedures. Go ahead and grab your gas monitor. Open it up. You wanna go ahead and assemble your regulator and your gas cylinder. It's also a good idea to take a look at the expiration date on the cylinder, which is usually located right in this general vicinity. For some reason, the um, gas is expired. Just go ahead and notify Captain Freitas. So you go ahead and assemble the regulator. Put your, go ahead and put your uh, bump test or calibration cup, and you have everything assembled. And you want to go ahead and grab, grab your gas monitor. Go ahead, this button right here is a mode button and this button, this arrow button right here is your um, enter button. So you wanna go ahead and hold down the mode button. Okay, you're gonna hear a beep. You just hold it down for a few seconds, you'll hear a beep, go ahead and let it go. And then you'll see a, you're gonna go ahead and see the, um, it go through its kind of a self check procedure. Once you do that, then you're gonna go ahead and it's gonna go ahead and go through its countdown. So at this point, you'll just wait for it to go through its countdown. And then once it's gone through its countdown, what we're gonna do is, uh, our next procedure is to do a fresh air calibration. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and We're gonna hit, go ahead and hit the mode button once, and actually a total of two times until you see this zero here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zero the monitor. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the enter button when you see that zero, and you're gonna see a clock. And you wanna make sure you're in a area that is not contaminated. Uh, that clock will go for a few seconds and then you, you should uh, give you an indication when it's complete by a little check mark in that upper left hand corner. Okay, so it made the beep and the check mark indicates that it's been fresh air calibrated. Now your next step is you wanna go to bump test. And this, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna hit your mode button once twice you'll see the zero and then three times you'll see the bump test at this point what you want to do is going to go ahead and hit attach your calibration cup and you're going to go ahead and press the enter button and then you're going to turn your gas on you're going to see these three sensors flashing right here and all this is doing is making sure that the sensors are actually uh, working properly so you put your finger over to keep it down. Within a couple seconds, you're gonna see three Ps. One, two, three. That means you're complete. You can go ahead and sure you turn your gas off and let your monitor zero itself out. You should see zero, zero, and then somewhere right around 20.9, 20.8. Um, and at that point, you're technically you're ready to, to utilize the sensor or the gas monitor. Uh, what you want to, if you wanted to clear your peaks for whatever reason, what you want to do is again you utilize your mode button one, two times, three times, four times, and you'll see the little peak in that upper right hand corner. So what you can do is just hit your enter button, and that zeroes or uh, clears your peak. Excuse me that clears your peaks and that is your procedure. And you wanna make sure that you do this uh, every time uh, prior to utilizing your gas monitor. This is the normal procedure. It's always gonna be um, zero it in fresh air and at a minimum, bump test it. And if you wanna clear your peaks, you can go ahead and do that. And that's it. And also you wanna take a look at your uh, battery, um, making sure that your battery is at least uh, minimum two thirds the battery. If, you, if not, go ahead and uh, if it's less than that, go ahead and change it out. That's it. That's your bump test 
procedure.